Junius. I wanted to talk about how I got into grad school. First question you need to ask yourself when you thinking when you're thinking about going to grad school, why do you want to go to grad school? You need I it I, I think personally that it's important it was important for me to know why I wanted to go to grad school, what I wanted to get out of grad school. That's the first question you need to ask yourself. So what I did, after thinking about it for a really long time and being afraid to even try because I was like, there's no way that I'm going to get into grad school. Millions of other people who want to go to grad school, I can't afford to go to grad school, I can't pay $50,000 a year to go to grad school, that's not in the books for me. But I want to get a really, really, really good education. So. I'm not telling you guys all this because I'm an expert in grad school. I'm not. My grad school experience was difficult for many reasons, but I'm really glad that I went. I learned a lot. I learned a lot not only about acting, but I learned a lot about myself. I've even questioned if this is the right career path for me. When I came to grad school, I thought I wanted to be one thing, and it turned out that I wanted to be something different. And going to grad school really taught me what works for me and what doesn't. The kind of theater that I want to do and the kind of theater that I don't want to do. When I was in California, I did a lot of physical theater, my mask clown stuff, and I took a lot of classes and did a lot of devised theater, which means creating your own theater from scratch. I didn't want to do that anymore, because I've been doing it for about five years. I didn't want to be a clown. I didn't think that I was a clown. I didn't necessarily I really like going to physical theater school because it just felt like everybody was trying to see who can make people laugh the most. And when I'm in that kind of situation and it feels like I have to make people laugh, of course when you try to make people laugh, you're not going to make them laugh because you're trying. So what I did is that I called my father and I said, Dad, I really want to try to get into grad school. I was I had lived in San Francisco for about five, six years and I was really tired of living there and I needed a change. So my dad was like, you apply and I'll help you pay. And I was like, wow, that's great. And in total, we probably wound up paying about $1,000 to apply to the schools, to pay the fees, to apply, and to get plane tickets to go to auditions and et cetera, et cetera. So first, because I was in San Francisco, the American Conservatory Theater, the Globe Theater in San Diego, Yale, and those places, the really prestigious schools, have auditions every year in San Francisco. So I applied to go to those auditions. I, it cost 50 to $100 each, which sucks, but that's kind of what you have to do. I got my audition date, I got some voice lessons, and I prepared with you know, an acting coach to prepare an audition package. I had about two or three months in between when I applied and when the audition took place. So I had that time to organize my headshot and resume and get prepared with my monologue and my song. And it took, a, it took that full three months to be ready, to feel like I was ready to do my audition. And I went to about five auditions for major um, MFA programs in the country. And it was bizarre going to those auditions because there were, thou there were like a thousand kids there and they were all completely terrified. And I went in and went did the audition and I thought I did very well, but I didn't get callbacks for any of them. DENIED! And considering that I did wind up getting into grad school, I'm really g glad that I went to those auditions for big major schools. Because if I had gotten into the school that I got into, and not had auditioned for those major schools, I probably would have been like, maybe I would have gotten in. So I'm really glad that I auditioned and didn't get into those schools. I went then, I went, I also signed up to go to SETC, the Southeastern Theater Conference, and I got called back for three universities, I think. And one of them was the school that I was eventually accepted into. The audition, you know, the callback was literally just me sitting in the room with the professor and him telling me about the school and how amazing it was and then at the end of it he was at the end of the conversation he was like plus it's free and we pay you and my initial thought was uh, okay well that means that I'm not getting in because I was sure that thousands of other people were auditioning I got in and I moved down south again and I've been here for three years and I'm just about to graduate I learned more about myself in the three years than I could ever possibly imagine. 
I've learned things that I need to work on, things that I'm good at. That's about it. I've talked a lot.